Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here to do another flip through of a journal that I literally just a second finished. <laughs> and I wanted to go ahead and film it so I can go ahead and upload it as soon as possible. Um, this is another one of my envelope. This is another one of my um, folder journals. So, this is what it looked like. So, just a regular file folder um, with a design. And I created the journal with about an inch spine. So if you guys saw my previous journal, I mean my previous video, you guys saw that I did use for the first time a um, folder. So this was the journal that I used or created with um, my first attempt at this and I fell in love with it. So I decided to buy these because I think the this design is so beautiful. And primarily what I do is turn it into something like this. So I do measure it out um, about an inch spine. Um, it's pretty decent sized. Let me get my so these journals approximately are five no eight and a half eight and a half by by five-ish estimated um, so it is a pretty decent sized journal um, and I just fell in love with the the way that I created the first one and with this one since I did have a little bit of practice with the first one I kind of was a little bit more creative with this one and um, so yeah the process is starting like this like this and what I do is I glue um, the top right here so I can have this as a pocket and then I glued the side here to have this open and you just flip this down and create like a little um, flip down and I'll go ahead and show you that on my next journal, well on this journal. So with this one I went a little crazy. I did end up just adding more and more stuff to it. I just couldn't stop myself. <laughs> I started adding one thing and thought of another thing and this crate this journal just went a little more chunky than I intended it to be but I absolutely love this journal it is so cute it's so girly it's so vintage looking feel still to it so I'm really happy with how it came out so as you can see this is how I used um, the folder and I just went ahead and added a little book page um, distress the sides and added today and then I did two signatures which you can see and then I just added um, this right here for a different little element and the back so the front one is going to be a um, pocket in the front and then I just added one of my envelopes Sorry guys. So my little light gave out. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll have to do this in a little bit of a darker lighting. I hope that is still okay for you guys. Um, for right when you open it, I did add this lace on the side, which I love. It gives it a different little look, and I just fell in love with it. And then here, I added this journal belongs to and this is actually from a different journal that I use um, for something else and I just thought that it would be perfect for this um, first page and the bottom a little tuck spot behind this little glassine bag with my little envelopes that I've previously talked about in my other videos so just a cute little envelope Again, shout out to my boyfriend for getting me these because he knows I'm a uh, vintage freak kind of thing. 
Um, I just love anything that looks old. So, and then within the glassine bag, I added, I added these little tags. And I just added different elements on them. And all of these have different elements to them, different textures. And then I just added a book um, writing page on the back of this glassing bag. And I think it gives it a different texture when you write on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. This journal does have a bunch of flip outs, which I just added some more um, writing space, I guess, to it. I don't know if you guys can hear the music in the background, but for Christmas I got a vinyl player, um, or a record player, is it a record player? <laughs> a vinyl um, player, so I've been buying so many records and my boyfriend gifted me some, and so that's one of my favorite, favorite records that I have right now. Um, I don't know the artist, and she's not a, she wasn't a big known artist, but her voice is so beautiful, and for when I create, I love to listen to her. She's just so soft. She's so calming. I don't know. I just wanted to add that little comment in there. <laughs> and then in the glassine bag again. I don't know why these are getting stuck on me. And then again, I just added some elements. And inside, it's just a huge pocket with a distressed... Um, and then here it is a, t uh, a tuck spot again, and in here as well. Sorry guys, I keep going out of frame. <laughs> Glassing bag. I just added um, a page to journal on. And then just one of these huge journal card looking ones. Double pocket here. And on this I just added a page for some journaling. And on this side I added this one. I don't know if you can see it. And then two of these tags. One of them is just has the little designs on them. And the other one is pretty plain. So but everything is distressed, which is different for me. I usually distress even the pages. Everything about my journals have always been distressed but for some reason this journal I felt like it was prettier if I left it simpler um, and this journal will be on my Etsy shop so if anybody buys it and they want to distress it I mean you can go ahead and do what you want with this journal I just love the feel of this journal for some reason here a little tag And this little element to it too. And then this fits out. I just added so many different elements to this one. It has different things. I figured you can write, or whoever buys it can write um, something there. And then I put um, one of these tags plus a journaling card. Sorry guys. And then here it's 
says explore, dream, and discover. And it just flips out. I did add a few things to it. So I added an envelope, very basic, and I did um, coffee stain it so the texture is really nice. I added a tag that's been distressed, another little tag, and another one of my favorite little envelopes. giant journal card. Huge journal card. So I'm telling you guys, this journal was supposed to be very simple. I don't know what happened in the process, but I started adding so much stuff to this journal. I love this paper. I don't know if you guys can really see it. And then a little journaling space so you guys can journal on the back. Little vintage ephemera. some simple elements, journal cards, elements, I don't know why I call them elements. <laughs> and then here, some of the music notes. Um, journaling cards. One of these little ones and it says smile, love, and laugh. And then just another one of these. And that is the back. Up here <laughs> I used one of these. You can go ahead and open it actually and put whatever you like in there. I didn't put anything in there, um, but whoever purchases it is more than happy to put whatever they like. 
but yeah that is my video guys I really really hope you enjoyed it um, I am obsessed with this journal um, and I think I found a new way to make journals oh and I completely forgot about the back the little element I added there so yeah guys let me know what you guys thought of this journal make sure that you subscribe like comment all that good stuff down below and I will leave my Facebook um, information down below so you guys can follow me and make sure to stay updated on any new projects I try to write on Facebook I am trying to do better <laughs> um, and then also Instagram I created an Instagram account so go ahead and if you have an Instagram account please 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 go follow me on there and I will definitely post more on there than I probably do on on Facebook so Go ahead and follow me and all that good stuff. And this will be listed on my Etsy shop. So I will link the link down below. Alright guys. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. And you guys have a good day. Bye.